Contracting officials must identify and evaluate organization conflicts of interests as early as possible and to avoid, neutralize, or mitigate significant potential conflicts so as to prevent an unfair competitive advantage or the existence of conflicting roles that might impair a contractor's objectivity. The situations in which OCIs arise can be categorized into three groups, biased ground rules, unequal access to information, and impaired objectivity. As relevant here, an impaired objectivity OCI arises where a firm's ability to render impartial advice to the government would be undermined by the firm's competing interests. We review the reasonableness of a contracting officer's OCI investigation and, where an agency has given meaningful consideration to whether a significant conflict of interest exists, we will not substitute our judgment for the agency's, absent clear evidence that the agency's conclusion is unreasonable. In this regard, the identification of conflicts of interest is a fact-specific inquiry that requires the exercise of considerable discretion. A protester must also identify hard facts that indicate the existence or potential existence of a conflict. Mere inference or suspicion of an actual or potential conflict is not enough. Once it has been determined that an actual or potential OCI exists, the protester is not required to demonstrate prejudice, rather, harm from the conflict is presumed to occur.